Welcome to the Emporium Outdoors, my name is Michael and today I'd like to talk about my experiences with diesel heaters and rooftop tents. So this is my 2021 Jeep Rubicon JLU coupled with an iCamper SkyCamp 3.0 rooftop tent. I live in Alberta, Canada where the temperature can be quite severe and these are some of the conditions that we typically camp in. So we're going to do a bit of a test today. It's minus 21 celsius and i've left my chinese heater outside all night so it went down to like minus 24 something around there so i'm going to see how it starts up in sub 20 degrees celsius weather and esme's come to help <laughs> Watch out. Go. Okay. so i'm actually using the remote to prime it you need to prime this when it's cold. Okay, so that failed. E6. Uh, yes, try that again. So I can see it's pulling about 50 watts. Another E6 failure. So just to be clear, I did have this running in normal temperatures and this was a cold weather test. And as you can see, I'm having problems. I did take it inside the garage to let it warm up slightly and I did manage to get it started. But as you can see, there's lots of smoke and that's all the residual diesel that's in the combustion chamber, but it did start. I think the point I'm trying to make by showing you this footage is it wasn't plain sailing. Whenever the temperature dropped almost below minus 15, I always had trouble starting it and still do. And I'm not sure if this is just the one that I have or they're all the same. I tried lots of different troubleshooting steps, but it just seemed that that fan just couldn't cope with the colder temperatures. It could be a mechanical issue with the fan, just not one to run at a certain temperature. I've tried different power supplies, which made no difference. It just doesn't like to start when it's really cold. So I've had to compensate with my camping to make sure that the temperature isn't super cold or to protect the heater so it doesn't get too cold when I'm camping before I get it started. Once it's up and running, it seems to run just fine. So we're all set up with the iCamper SkyCamp 3.0. We've got the little awning out, keep the snow off. We've got the diesel heater prepped and ready to go. I've tested it, so fingers crossed and I have a remote so I can start it from the from inside the tent as well which is going to be awesome if that works but it's starting to snow uh, quite a bit we came in it's about four inches on the ground so not too bad not too concerned but we're probably going to be here for at least one night maybe two we'll see how it goes uh, but it's beautiful absolute sound of nothing apart from that squirrel so the only accessories that I really added was an extra hose to actually pipe it up into the rooftop tent and this little step thing that it sits on. It's a Hitchmate tire step. The camera makes the diesel heater sound kind of loud with the clicking of the pump. When you're actually in the tent, you just hear the warm air pushing through the hose. The diesel heat is a very dry heat, so I don't get any condensation inside the tent at all and it's great for drying off any damp gear you might have. There are six heat settings from one to six. If I run it on a one or two, it consumes about 300 watt hours over an eight hour period, and it consumes about half a US gallon of diesel. So a full tank in the unit and a full charge on my battery bank will give me two nights of comfortable camping. Once the unit's running, I do have the remote, so I can change the temperature if needed. So it's the next day and we had a very good night's sleep. Got a full, eight plus hours which is awesome and I fired up the heater this morning um, I couldn't do it through the remote because the uh, the battery bank that I'm using the power station uh, actually powered itself off so that's a bit of a pain if it was a blue Etty then I could have controlled it from my phone and turned it on but it's actually my uh, eco uh, flow Delta so that one doesn't 
connect by USB. However, we are very nice and warm. And uh, yeah, it's very pleasant. Uh, and you can see there's a little bit of moisture up in the metal parts. But this will dry the tent out completely inside. So it'll be nice. So if I do need to pack it away, I can without worrying too much. Temperature is about minus seven at the moment, but inside is just nice. <laughs> so we're going to get up shortly, get some breakfast, um, but very pleasant night's sleep, definitely. So that's kind of a view on how I use my diesel heater. It has changed the way that I camp in the winter time, it has made things a lot more easy for me in the rooftop tent. However, I would say this, I wouldn't rely on it. I would always have warmer equipment so I can do without it completely. If I did get into trouble where I couldn't start it, for instance, I would never rely on a diesel heater. I'm considering buying a different diesel heater to see if I can get around some of the problems that I've had with this particular one. But again, I have limited knowledge of all the diesel heaters and whether they all suffer from the same problems or maybe I just got that lucky one that doesn't like to start in the cold. Anyway, I hope you found this useful and if you're looking for a diesel heater for your rooftop tent then hopefully this will give you some background on the troubles and tribulations that I went through to get mine working. So until next time, take care. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.